Matt Mondel. Man Ray was an American artist who spent half his life in Paris. He was born in 1890. Man Ray had arrived in Paris in 1921 and so had been in the city for 13 or 14 years by the time that he discovered the models at the Institut Poincaré. He was already by that stage uh, an extremely well-known photographer, but also as a painter and uh, a maker of objects. He was intrinsically linked to the uh, group of surrealists around André Breton and had been present at the, at the founding of the movement in 1924. As a photographer, I believe that Man Ray would have immediately realised the artistic potential of these objects. He recalled that he originally intended his photographs of the objects to be studies for a series of paintings. In every photograph, he seeks to transform the object, to render it mysterious and to challenge the viewer to make their own interpretation of what it represents. He's also bringing to light forms that were not part of the intention in the creation of the objects. They were made to serve as teaching aids for mathematicians. Man Ray took them out of that context and put them in, placed them into, a, into an artistic context. And our understanding of this is that he was searching new possibilities of relationships between the two objects, perhaps creating new forms, sometimes playful, sometimes the effect is almost frightening. So in front of us we have five models that were all photographed by Man Ray and were all incorporated into his series of Shakespearean equation paintings. This is the model in painted papier-mâché that Man Ray transformed into the figure of Othello. In that painting, the face of Othello is rendered on a very plain background to accentuate the strength of the figure. But dreaming is an important theme, both in surrealism and in Shakespeare, and possibly even in mathematics, advanced mathematics, requires the ability to be able to imagine the unimaginable. And I think Man Ray would have recognised this link between disciplines. And we're so lucky that most of the objects which Man Ray photographed survive to this day, that they've been carefully preserved by the Institut Poincaré.